video. This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. This episode we have uh, Kelsey Moe is back. Uh, this time I'll be instructing on some different skills. We have the basic cross and we're also going to be teaching the toad for the varsity. The JV skill. To do the basic cross um, in Chinese wheel, you're going to usually start with one person doing the cross, the other person won't. And once you get a little bit better, you can have both people crossing at the same time. Now this time I'm going to have myself doing the cross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all pick which hand I want to cross with first. For me, I'm going to choose my right hand. You can also do your left hand first. And it's also good to practice doing both ways um, so that you can be a little more versatile. So when I'm crossing with my right hand, you'll notice when I go right hand over and left hand here, Kelsey and I are both going to be jumping over the rope at the same time. So you need to be aware of that. So when I first do my cross, she's got to jump higher and I need to jump higher. Otherwise, we're going to miss. So you have to make sure you're always watching out for that. And the first one, the second one's going to go right between us. Neither of us are going to jump that rope. And then when I come out, Kelsey's going to jump that rope and then I jump the next rope. Now, anytime you're doing any stuff in Chinese wheel, you always have to think of counting because you're going one, her, two is me. With a cross, you've got to think four jumps. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I go right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. And you're always thinking right, left, right, left. So to walk through it, the rope's going to come over her head. I would cross here, which would be one. Number two comes over. It's going to go between us. We would have jumped over the blue rope. And it's kind of hard to walk through stuff and wheel, but... Three would come out, she would jump that one, and then I would jump four. Now we'll jump through it real quick to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Happens kind of quick, so we'll do it one more time. He goes one, two, three, four. And watch this time as Kelsey jumps a little bit higher and she moves in a little closer to me when I hit one. And that's something else to watch out for. So. Always make sure you just move a little bit closer, jump a little bit higher on that first jump, and then come out. Now, if you're doing it with your left hand first, you don't have to take the big jump until the second one. We'll show you that real quick. If I cross left, so we do our big jump on the second one. One, two, three, four. And just practice doing that with both arms. Both people should be able to do that, and then you can work up to trying to do them together. And that's the basic cross in Chinese wheel. The varsity skill. Kind of in the same vein as the JV trick, the varsity trick will be doing a toad, but we'll both be doing this at the same time. Now, a toad is basically a crisscross underneath your leg. We'll be doing it at the same time, so we have to pick which leg we're going to do. We're going to do it under our left leg. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to decide right arm goes under left leg, left arm comes over the top, right arm comes out, left arm comes out. Now we have to work together, so counting is important while you do this. So we're going to do a simple go, go. You can count one, two, go, go. There's all sorts of different varieties of things to say. Just pick something and make sure you both know what you're doing. So we'll do it. We'll say go, go. On the next jump after that, we're going to go into the toad. And just like with the crisscross, you're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to both just go under the leg on one, cross, out, out. She jumps, I jump. And that's what it, look, it is. So what it looks like when we do it. Go, go, one, two, three, four. Happens kind of quick, so we'll do it one more time. Go, go, one, two, three, four. And you basically just work together, make sure you know you're counting and practice doing it on your left side. Every time you do a trick, always be able to do it to both sides. So if you do it to your left, do it to your right. And then there's a lot of variety and a lot of variations you can do off of that there. You can also add EVs you can do while you're switching. There's all sorts of things you can do. But that's your basic um, toad while doing Chinese wheel with both people doing it at the same time. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.